What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we are doing a very special video where we are going to be comparing SLI GTX 670s, these are the Superclocked Plus EVGA cards, versus the uh, EVGA GTX 970 with 4 gigs of RAM. So basically we have two cards here, they both have 4 gigs of RAM and they're GTX 670s. This is my old setup, I've been running it for about two and a half years now. And we're going to be comparing the, the amazing SLI setup I have here to a single GTX 980, the newer uh, generation. Um, I really want to see if this thing is going to outperform the 670s extremely well, or if it's going to just, you know, kind of do better. Um, I'm not sure what to expect at this point. My main plan here is to just go with the 980 because I feel like a non-SLI build runs a lot more stable than a single, uh, wait, did I just, yeah, I said that right. A non-SLI build runs a lot more stable than an SLI build, and I've noticed that frequently just because, I mean, SLI tends to run into a lot of micro stutter, um, and a lot of people say the best way to avoid that is to have your cards running at different um, frequencies. I'm going to zoom in here, try to get a good focus on this. Sorry I'm not using like screen recording software, I just think this is the better way to do it, um, for me at least. But, uh, you know, you can use Precision X here and you could choose to, to offset your uh, clock speed. Um, but I just wanted to show you here that I'm running um, a 249 megahertz um, memory overclock on both cards. And I'm also running a 53 megahertz um, overclock on my GPU. And I also have my uh, power target and uh, my voltage uh, not maxed out, but I have them, uh, in the case of the power target, maxed out. But uh, I have all of my power settings pretty high, and of course I'm running an overclock. Now it's a very minor overclock, it's a very slight overclock that's very stable. Um, and that's what I want, I want stability out of my computer. Now I want to see if these overclock cards, um, I want to see if the 980 could outperform these overclocked SLI cards. Now, most likely it will, but I want to see how much it's going to over uh, overperform. And it's basically just a documentation of my experience with upgrading. So we have Firmark here. It's a stress test, and we're going to run it. Okay. Now, unfortunately, it's going to go to the other screen, but I'm going to move it back over here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to let this run for a bit. And we're basically going to see what FPS it's running at after it starts to heat up a bit and the cards start turning up their fans. And yeah, it's running stable. I mean, the temps, the temps are pretty good. Uh, the main GPU, which is of course going to be the hottest, is running at 64 degrees Celsius. And it's really not going up too much. It's going up extremely slow. And these cards tend to top out around 75 with this overclock, 75 degrees Celsius, which is extremely stable um, for the EVGA setup. So yeah, we're going to say 21 FPS average, 20 FPS average, sorry. And great. Now we are going to change things up a little bit. So, as you guys just saw, I put in the GTX 980, and it looks insanely good. It does light up, and it just looks awesome, man. So, we're going to go ahead and get into the benchmarking, which is the more important thing, even though it does look good. Uh, let's go ahead and do a Furmark test. Uh, let's see how it runs. Okay, so right off the bat, oh my jeebus. I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer. And I'm going to point you guys up there. So if you remember earlier, it was running, I said, 25 FPS. I th oh, no, no, no. I said 22 max. It's running a max FPS of 47. What? 
I'm a bit surprised, guys. Right now, it's running a solid 40, or 41 average. It's up to 45 right now. All I gotta say, guys, I have never seen in person Furmark running smooth. It usually lags. Furmark is made to make computers lag, yet this graphics card doesn't care. All right, guys, so we're in EVGA precision right now. As you can see, the GTX 980 is showing up, so that's fantastic. I'm gonna turn off sync because it's not necessary. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn up the power target to 125%, which by the way, is an increased cap from the other card for some reason. Um, we're also gonna turn up the voltage tuner max uh, to uh, 1100 megawatts. Um, megawatts, is it megawatts? It's megavolts, I think. Yeah, I think it's megavolts. Um, anyway, so yeah, well, I, th I think that's a good number to go with there. Um, actually, what did I just do? There we go, apply. X, cool. Okay, what that's going to enable us to do is uh, turn up the clock speeds. It's going to give it enough power for it to do that. Um, so we're going to turn up the memory clock about 250. I mean, it's usually a pretty stable overclock for um, EVGA cards with a single fan, and this card has two fans, so I think it should be fine. Um, I'm also going to turn the GPU up 80. I think 80 is going to be a good number. And I'm also going to take a look at this fan curve. Uh, the fan curve is good. Uh, we'll play with it if I feel like it's overheating at all. Okay, Furmark is getting 51 FPS. So we've had an increase again of about 5 FPS. The average is holding around 50, which is fantastic. Performance dropped down to 49 for a second there. And sorry, I have you guys zoomed in. It's probably a little uh, nauseating. But uh, yeah, so we are seeing a decent um, benefit here. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the temps, 58 Celsius, I'm going to leave this off on the side here. Um, we can also see the temps inside of Furmark, I believe, yeah they're down here, max, okay. So right now, full load, it's running at 77% fan speed, 